Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday um, after Easter. Um, got my haircut in the shop for the day. I'll show you what's going on. I want to flip you around the other way. And uh, if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, those are those two signs I finished yesterday. I did a, that handrail got painted. Let's just do a little update of what's going on this morning in the shop. I've got to get back there and make some coffee. I don't get going real good in the morning until I have coffee. Uh, these are finished. The um, 76 thousandths is done. And I'll show you how I did that. I used the Hindi. And what I do is I just use some soft jaws. I bored out some soft jaws here. And I hold that jug between the live center and there. And then I use, a, it's, a, it's like a 430, 15th, focus, whatever, that guy right there, that you can't see, that one. That's 15,000 snows radius rather than uh, 32. So it gets a real sharp point in that corner. Let's just walk over here today and see about these wheels. Here's what I have going on. Uh, they always buy the wrong size rims on these. You know the trucks running around with them big 22s and them old swollen tires on? You know, it's like, it's got polka music coming out. Yeah, that's what's going on here. It's the wrong size. So I've got to figure out a way to either, I was thinking of using my Healy Octo and doing a spiral ramp down, but then I noticed that I have this. And this I never can run in my bridge port because the quick switch 30 takes up, oh, it's about an inch of Z travel. Hey, I can start using my thing. Takes up about an inch of Z travel, and I run out of room on these big wheels. If you can see, the, it's quite, I don't have a lot of room left. So once I put the boring head in there, Zap it down through there, it should be okay. Remember to tighten your bolts up real nice and tight. These, I just grab that lip right there with a step lock, step lock, and then I use the nuts as a stop, positive stop. When I push it back, it goes up against the nuts, and then I just lock these on the rim of course you got to go back and indicate the indicate this in set g55 or whatever work setting you're using and then i'm gonna bore right down through there and bore right out so let's go over this way and i'll show you what else i have going on oh these are the caps that come off those those wheels they're plastic and they only use one of these I will set up this dial bore gauge to um, measure that bore with I finished up these for the fish tank Zebco fish tank thing outside I got the Jeep in the shop by nine o'clock and I finished up these made an extra just in case I like that guy Justin just in case and I need to clean this up this is where I did the drilling yesterday let's see what's going on back here in the shop ooh oh I finished Sanding that one. There's one outside. I finished sanding and then this one here is probably going to get sanded today. I did not Get around to welding these 
Sorry, Jeff Sylvester, I haven't got to it yet. Um, I was thinking of ordering one of those little Vivor rotary tables or uh, a welding positioner, it's like $200 to do this. She would make them look a lot nicer, but we'll work on that here in a little bit. That's about it for today. I'm gonna sign off and go fix those wheels. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I've got an order of flanges coming in today. And I'll start on those. If not, today's the day that I give the boat to my dad. Grandpa gets his fishing boat today. So, sometime today I'll be taking off. Sometime I'll be taking off today and uh, meeting Dad at the at at the house, and um, we'll do a once over on the on the Fisher fishing boat, and I'll show you what I put a trolling motor on last night for him. So, but it's ready to go. Father son boat project is done. Me and my boy built it, and we're giving it to Grandpa. So. I'll be meeting Grandpa today and giving him the boat. We'll do, like I said, I'll do a walkthrough on it and show you everything because it's good. The boat runs great. Uh, Hefe Frijole is out. I've got work to do. I will talk to you later, son. I can't wait to see you Friday. Dad got some new soccer cleats, so I keep up with you on the soccer field. See you later.